hello everyone welcome welcome back to written in christ i am so blessed to have you here today today i'm going to be recording a much requested video a video that many people have been requesting that i should do and today here we are recording this video we are going to be talking about scheduling scheduling has been one of the things that have changed my life completely having a routine has helped me to be more organized has helped me to put things in place help my children to be able to understand exactly what we are doing and so today i'm going to be releasing all these things to you so i want to encourage you to stick to the end of this video because i'm going to be telling you exactly where you can download some schedules and then just personalize it for your children so shout out for this video goes to yvonne okay and also to his word thank you guys so much for watching my video thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting if you want to be in my next shout out i'll encourage you to subscribe to my channel like this video comment and follow me on instagram thank you so much for all of your support so today i'm going to be talking about scheduling scheduling is one of the things that has really helped me to become more organized help me to have access to more time because as i am scheduled my children are scheduled things are becoming more organized and so because of that it helps me to have more time in my hand so i can have extra time to do other things that maybe you might not be able to have time to do because you are too busy with the kids I'm talking about the importance of having a schedule when you have a schedule your children know exactly what to do you know their life become more structured because they know the things to expect they know what to do at what time so scheduling also help with transitioning from one activity to another so if your child has a schedule schedule it's easier for them to know that okay after i'm done with this thing i'm going to do the next thing scheduling also help your children to be able to understand what to do at what time so it increases their level of independence it helps them to become more independent and so they are able to make those decisions on their own because they know exactly what to do because they can just follow the schedule for example if your child have a schedule and they have to play music they know exactly when to do it they have to study their bible they know exactly when to do it they have to cook they know exactly exactly when to do it because they have this schedule but if they don't have anything to follow you know they tend to do anything that they want to do and most of the time guess what will happen they are going to choose those things that are more preferable to them like watching ipad like doing the things that they feel more comfortable to do why because they don't know what to even do they don't have a schedule but with a schedule it makes life so easy and it makes them to become more balanced in life because they tend to do everything that is on the schedule and at that time you are able to easily track the things that they are not doing you are able to easily track the things that they don't like and then you can help them to be able to like those things another important of having a schedule is that their body naturally becomes adaptive for example just think about you if you set an alarm to get up every day at 5 a.m to pray then every day at 5 a.m you do it for a while your body become adaptive and so every day at 5 even if there is no alarm you are going to get up also with a child if let's say you put your child to sleep every day at 8 p.m your child's body naturally begins to get sleepy at about 8 p.m because that is when you have trained their body to go to bed and so when you have a schedule every activity that is on that schedule your child naturally begins to do those things automatically because they have done it for a while they have done it for a length of time and so i can't emphasize anymore that scheduling is an amazing thing to use to raise your children if you have a schedule chaos in your house will begin to reduce you know sometimes there are some homes that you go to it's so chaotic children are fighting all the time children are running up and down when you have a schedule you see how the bad behavior behaviors in the house will begin to vanish because the children have a direction they take authority over their own day they know exactly what to do for themselves and sometimes maybe there are some attitudes there are some habits that you want to develop in your children or you want to train them to be able to do specific things you can use a schedule to be able to train them with those activities for example if your child comes back from school every day and throw their shoes somewhere and so you want to train them to be able to pick up their shoes every time they come back from school then you put it on the schedule and so when they look at it on that schedule they know exactly what to do so when they come back from school they know that they have to pick their shoes and keep it where it belongs so you will not spend time reminding them every time to pick that shoe and keep it where it belongs because they already have it on the schedule the question is how do we actually begin by making this schedule the first thing that i'm going to tell you is that even as you listen to this video today yeah, 
you want to make a schedule for your child one thing that i want you to know is that if your children are older you need to get their input in the schedule don't just make a schedule and done before them ask them the things that they want to develop they want to improve on in their life and so make that schedule with them when they're giving their input it becomes more easier for them to follow their schedule make sure that it's all about them but you want to help them as their parents you want to help them make a routine make a schedule that will help them to be able to do the things that they are supposed to do so when you make it like that it feels more like it's about them it's not about you and let me tell you something at the end actually it's going to be of your own advantage because when they become organized then things are going to change in the house but if you just make it and just dump it to them then i think that some most of the time it will be unsuccessful but for younger kids make sure that you explain it to them tell them ahead of time that you are going to be doing these things tell them everything that they need to know about the schedule let it be transparent let it be plain to them if you have been enjoying this video so far i'm going to encourage you to like leave a comment and subscribe to this channel so when you make the schedule make sure that you are including everything that you want to develop in that child for example if the whole family gets up in the morning and get ready and leave the house and then you can make a schedule for your child in the morning where your child can get up brush their teeth make their bed do those different different things you can make that schedule for them or when they come back from school what are the things that you want to see them doing you include those different different things in that schedule depending on your child's ability and the things that you want to develop in that child so the one thing that you have to take note of is that you need to start simple don't put so many things that are complicated for the child. Don't put too many expectations on the child from that beginning. Of course, when you start it from the beginning, you can begin to add things on the schedule. You keep adding things that you want to see in their life. For example, you want to see them cleaning the bathroom. Yeah, you don't need to put it from the beginning. The more they are able to follow their schedule, the more you are able to add other things on that schedule. One thing that I want you to know is that if your children are older, you need to get their input in the schedule. Don't just make a schedule and done before them. Ask them the things that they want to develop, they want to improve on in their life. And so make that schedule with them. When they're giving their input, it becomes more easier for them to follow their schedule. But if you just make it and just dump it to them, then I think that some most of the time it will be unsuccessful. But for younger kids, make sure Sure that you explain it to them tell them ahead of time that you are going to be doing these things tell them everything that they need to know about the schedule let it be transparent let it be plain to them. after you make the schedule make sure that you keep it somewhere that the children can easily have access to for example on the fridge and put it maybe in front in their room wherever they can easily have access to the schedule so in a situation where the whole house is struggling let's assume that you have like many children and the children are always into each other and the house is so chaotic i will encourage that the whole family makes a schedule and before you do this you need to sit down as a family and have like a family meeting and i'm going to be making another video on that so watch out for that if your family is in that kind of way and have rules like rule number one no heating in the house so i'm going to be making a separate video on this watch out for that video hallelujah so i want to let you know that even as you start this your child might not want to follow the schedule you want to try to see if actually you are serious with what you're saying and so they will test you though not want to follow the schedule for example if they are doing activities that they really like they might not want to give up those activities for things that they don't like for example they might not want to let the ipad go because they want to go and maybe wash dishes so it might take some time especially if they are younger you need to do like social stories with them and i'm going to be making another video talking about how to do social stories but if they are not following the schedule you need to make sure that you stick to everything that you say if they are not following the schedule and you've tried and you've done all you can then they will have to have a consequence and when you give them a consequence for example if you don't pick up your dress then maybe you are going to lose 15 minutes of ipad time that you are supposed to have and so you have those consequences and i'm going to be making another video on consequences so they need to have those consequences and those are the consequences that will make them to be able to follow their schedules because they know if they don't do those things then they will have a consequence and also if they are improving in any little way you need to appreciate them for example if your child was not doing something and they begin to do it even if it is very small you
you need to appreciate them you need to make sure that you praise them you need to make sure that you give them some reinforcement which the next video that i'm going to be making is going to be talking about reinforcement and so with reinforcement because you have this schedule and there is something attached to the schedule so when you do this you get this an example could just be that your child whom you are training to be able to use the bathroom goes and use the bathroom and then you praise them maybe just praising them maybe just clapping for them that's a huge reinforcement one thing that you have to know is that scheduling reinforcement and consequences all go together so when you put all of this together and then it works perfectly so if you want to download the sample schedules that i have i will encourage you to go down to the description board below and then follow that link sign up for my mailing list and then you are going to be able to have access to sample schedules that i have and so you can download those schedules and then personalize it for your children add the things that you want to add you can just have an idea you can just see what i've done and then you can develop your own schedule you can edit it you can change it you can just put your child's name and see whatever you want to develop in their life and i want to encourage you that if you have a system that is working that is not scheduling that is not reinforcement that is not consequences or if you have this once and it's already working for you i want to encourage you to put in the comment section so that other people can look at it and learn see what you are doing and then i can also learn from the things that you are doing and i want to encourage you that if you have any question with this you can put it in the comment section down below and also i have a facebook group which i'm going to link down below you can you know go to that group and then ask any question that you have and then i am going to comment and other people might give their input relating to that question hallelujah share it with someone that you think will like the content of this video i would really appreciate it if many people can watch it and it can help many family then that would be amazing just think about every one of us doing the same things and then developing these responsible children what will become of our society we are going to have an amazing society we are going to have a place that everyone will want to live in encourage you to click on the next video raising godly children and watch that video is going to bless you so if you've not subscribed yet i'll encourage you to subscribe and join the family and i want to thank you so much for watching this video today and love you all bye